Hey guys, how's it going? It's me, Josh Halter, owner of The Bio Dude. Um, you can visit my website, thebiodude.com. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and of course, subscribe to my channel. So, I'm doing a little bit different of a video today. Um, today, I'm gonna talk about impaction um, with, with my Terra Sahara substrate, my Terra Firma substrate. Specifically, those are the ones that I get the most question, questions about. And then a lot of the questions that I get are with leopard gecko keepers, bearded dragon keepers, because a lot of these animals uh, can be a little bit more clumsier when they eat. So bearded dragons, I shouldn't say clumsy, they're actually very precise, but they stick their tongues out to catch their food. Um, leopard geckos tend to more dive. And sometimes when that happens, they ingest the substrate. And when that happens, a byproduct of that when ingesting the substrate can be death um, from the substrate building up in the intestinal tract and causing, you know, uh, sepsis and then, you know, and then death. But what I'm going to talk about is what actually causes the impaction, as well as how the biodu substrates not only um, help prevent impaction on a higher level, but also make sure that you're providing, you know, the best type of substrate that you can for your pet reptiles and amphibians. So impaction in general, um, it, it typically is caused because your animal's immune system is more suppressed. So I want you guys to think about something. All reptiles are wild animals. There is not a single domesticated reptile. So the first thing I want you guys to think about as a species, do you think that if an animal would eat a little bit of substrate, a leopard gecko living in Afghanistan in the rocky outcrops mixed with sand, soil, clay, um, little tiny rocks, does it ingest that in their everyday life just living in their natural biome. That goes for bearded dragons, that goes for tabus, that goes for pretty much everything. That even goes for snakes, okay? Do you think that if these animals did not evolve um, and adapt to these types of environments to pass substrate that they would still evolve as a species? And it really bothers me when I see I hate saying Dr. Google, but people in general that say if you put your leopard gecko or bearded dragon on substrate, they're going to get impacted. That is simply not true. What happens when you bring an animal home, they're stressed out because they're in a new environment that they're not familiar with. What happens when you get a wild caught iguana, or, um, or iguana is it, isn't a good reference, but when, when leopard geckos or other animals were still being brought in out of the wild, um, but they're really not anymore. Do you think that, 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 that those animals, if they would ingest a little bit of substrate, that, you know, that they would have issues passing it? If they were freshly picked from the wild, being put into a cup, being sold at a reptile show, living in that cup for sometimes two to three days with minimal food or water, getting dehydrated, being taken home and put in a whole new environment that they're not used to. That is gonna cause a lot of stress. A byproduct of stress is immunosuppression. When you get an immunocompromised animal, that leaves them more susceptible to being harmed by things that typically wouldn't harm them, thus the impaction. So another good way to think about it is husbandry. A lot of people that have their captive bred animals that get impacted because they kept them on sand or other things like this, I have seen dozens I mean, dozens of cases of this. My fiance is a, is a reptile and amphibian veterinarian, and she's actually going to be board certified in the United States, first female in the United States, guys. But as a sidetrack, without I have a, I have a, a lot of a lot of access to a lot of high end doctors that this is what they devoted their life to. Improper husbandry, improper lighting, improper humidity improper day cycles. If you're not taking care of your animal properly, you're a wild animal. Appro appropriately, little things build up. Little, little things of neglect in husbandry build up to suppress their immune system so when they do catch food and they eat a little bit of substrate, it ends up getting stuck in there because their bodies aren't functioning as they normally would. Because their bodies aren't, aren't that healthy. It, it, it's, it's in my opinion, it's kind of the, the, the same principle as um, a, a medical doctor, as, a, as a, an, a, an obese person that has, that has health issues because the, 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 that extra weight is, uh, is suppressing their immune system, making their bodies not function as properly. That same principle is kind of what I'm applying to here. And with that being said, you know, that's why offering the, the best husbandry is important, and that is where I came in. because. 
guys, I honestly feel like that my product, as far as keeping these animals with the extensive years and years of testing it and perfecting it, that I have one of the best out there. And I have, and it's one of those things that I feel so comfortable to say that my goal is to change the way that reptiles and amphibians are kept. That is what I want to do. I want everybody to keep them the way that I keep them, natural, organic, natural processes that clean and maintain themselves while attempting to replicate their biome as, as closely as possible to prevent things such as impaction and dehydration and other little stupid things that cause the death of so many reptiles every single year. And that's really what I wanted to talk about today, guys, about the impaction. Um, you know, this wasn't going to be a long video. Um, I really wanted just to get, you know, how I feel about it across. Because um, I get a lot of questions about it. And, of course, if you guys have further questions, feel free to post on the video. Um, I'll be, I, I do my best. I try to check all my YouTube comments every single week because there's usually a couple hundred. So, I thank every single one of you for continually supporting my endeavor of the bio dude and for continually helping me achieve my dream, the dude abides.